pole 12 meters tall is perpendicular to level ground. A taut wire that is 20 meters long extends from the top of the pole to the ground. What is the angle of elevation to the nearest degree from the bottom of the wire to the top of the pole? Let's draw this out. We've got a pole 12 meters tall. It's perpendicular to the ground. So let's make this our ground. Let's make this our pole. And it's perpendicular, so it meets at a right angle. We're told it's 12 meters tall. And we'll just write it 12, not 12 M. A taut wire that is 20 meters long extends from the top of the pole to the ground. And this wire is going to extend at some angle into the ground. So let's just draw it like this, let's say. We're told that this is 20 meters long. And from the top of the pole to the ground, what is the angle of elevation to the nearest degree from the bottom of the wire to the top of the pole? So we're looking basically for this angle right here. Okay. So since this is a question that requires relating sides of right triangles to angles, this is where trigonometry comes in. So again, we have to bring in trusty Sokotoa to help us. So we're dealing with this angle, we'll call this theta. And the sides that we're given are the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that corresponds to sine. So I know that the sine of theta is equal to 12 over 20. You either could take your angles, plug them in for sine of theta and see which one equals 12 over 20. Or you could do inverse sine because if you inverse sine both sides, that will give you a theta directly. So we're going to figure out theta equals inverse sine of 12 over 20. So I just got to go to my calculator, make sure it's in degree mode, which I believe it is. Yep. And find the inverse sine of 12 over 20. So I do that. And I get 36.8, which rounds up to 37 degrees. That's choice C. And that's the answer.